When it comes to the treatment side of things, um, we are focusing on our larger trees that have a lot of value, that are in communities that, you know, where we need to be preserving tree canopies, um, as well as areas where we are working on canopy cover goals. Um, the goal really is not to treat every single tree, but those trees that are smaller than probably six or eight inches, just get rid of them. By the time that you have spent money treating those for a lifetime of the tree, uh, the benefits right, are, are necessarily worth it. The last point before I talk about the couple of treatment options that we really have um, is that we are not reinventing the wheel here. So the beautiful thing, why I sort of talked about it, but the beautiful thing about all of what we're dealing with with EAB is it stinks that it's here. This is not great, but the Midwest and the East Coast have been dealing with this pest for over 20 years. So we have tons and tons and tons of data. The people who are working on the riparian side of things, Godspeed to y'all. Thank you for what you're doing because that is sort of the uncharted territory. But from my perspective and where I work um, in the realm of things in the urban forestry world, we have very good solutions that are very safe environmentally, which Andy was going to talk about, um, that are efficacious and not that expensive and not that hard to do. We have three different treatment options available to us that the state, Oregon Department of Agriculture, has on their suitable list, approved pesticide list. So they come down to three active ingredients. Imidacloprid is one of our soil applied options. It is a neonicotinoid, but it is very, very, very cheap. We're going to hear about the pollinator concerns with neonicotinoids. That lasts for one full year, and that's an application that you want to get in in the fall or the early spring, because it does take a little bit of a while to get into the tree. It takes about three months to get into the canopy of the tree. We want to make sure that the insecticide is in the canopy, you know, moving up through the vascular tissue of that tree while those pests are actively feeding. So that's that. Dinotepirin is the other neonicotinoid that's available. That you can do via soil application or bark spray. Uh, very easy, very fast. That chemistry is slightly more expensive. It's done annually, but it is, again, very fast. You can do it as a bark spray where you can just move very quickly. You know, if you're spraying from six feet down to the ground, it goes really fast if you've got one of those little backpack sprayers. And then our last option, really our most efficacious, our non neonicotinoid option, the option that we are going to be recommending mostly across the board out here is our trunk injection option. So it's done via microinjection. We've got some systems if you want to look at them. Um, if you don't know what that is for any of my non-practicing arborists. And then that is MMectin benzoate. So MMectin benzoate, we've been hearing all about it. It lasts for two, potentially three, or even more years, depending on what sort of sites you're looking at. If you're looking at like homeowners that have really valuable, you know, 35 inch organo, you're gonna wanna treat those every two years. You can spread that out a little bit further for your budgetary reasons, you know, go to three years, stage them in, in conjunction with one another. Basically, highly, highly efficacious, 99% efficacious if you can get to treating the trees if they have less than 30% die back. Thanks for letting me know. There's a few studies that have been done. Obviously, there is an impact no matter what we do, no matter what we put into the environment, there is an environmental impact. Generally speaking, it, there, there can be impacts, like if there are insects and things, obviously it won't kill anything in there, which I think, Danny, you kind of mentioned that. The half-life on things as far as like breaking down, though, it, it does break down relatively quickly as far as, you know, over a period of time, but it will, it will definitely kill stuff. <laughs> it will kill things in the soil. Ebumectin benzoate, though, breaks down very, very quickly, and that is the product that most folks are going to be making for us.